buying process with Susie. So, buying a house takes time, and it's all too easy to land a house you can't afford. And that mistake can affect your ability to build wealth in the long run. But understanding the steps of the home buying process empowers you to make smart decisions about your home purchase. So, get pre-approved for a mortgage. When you're ready to start house hunting, it's time to get pre-approved for a mortgage. So when you apply, your lender will give you a pre-approval letter that states how much you're approved for based on your credit, assets, and income. So you can show your pre-approval letter to your real estate agent so they can help you find homes within your budget. To get pre-approved, you need to apply with your lender. And so the pre-approval process typically involves answering some questions about your income, your assets, and the home you want to buy. It will also involve a credit check. There are multiple types of mortgage loans. Knowing all of your options can help you make the right decision. And here are some of the most common types of mortgage loans. The first type that we most often see are called conventional loans. Conventional loans, sometimes called conforming loans, are loans that aren't backed by the federal government. Conventional loans are a popular option for home buyers and you can get one with at little as 3% down. FHA loans. FHA loans are backed by the Federal Housing Administration and FHA loans are less of a risk for lenders because the government insures them if you stop making payments. As a result, FHA loans have credit score requirements that aren't as strict, and you can get an FHA loan with a down payment as small as 3.5%. VA loans, they are mortgage loans for active duty members and veterans of the armed forces. You can get a VA loan with 0% down if you meet service standards. VA loans are insured by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Now that you've learned the different types of loans, how do you find the right person to help you do it? Come and join me for step five in my next video to learn more. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment any questions you have about this video before moving on. All right, I'll see you in step five. Let's get to it.